Hey everybody, welcome back to another short video. Do you ever wonder what the world's most dangerous job is? I mean, for example, perhaps being an astronaut, uh, risking everything and in going into orbit above uh, planet Earth. I mean, that's pretty risky, I suppose. Uh, I don't know, maybe being a deep sea diver, that's another thing. Uh, being an oil worker, I suppose those things on a distant oil platform somewhere. Uh, being a, a, being a, a soldier in deployment in somewhere like Afghanistan. I suppose you might say those are all kind of pretty dangerous jobs. But no, none of them are as dangerous as the job I'm about to tell you about. Because the most dangerous job in the world has got to be being Joe Biden's media handler. I'm going to show you a short clip, which is which is quite amazing. Um, we're going to chat about it. I, in fact, I, as we go through it, I might well st I might well stop it. He starts okay. He st this is brilliant. He starts and he's on his uh, teleprompter script, and then oh no, he starts to improvise, and boy does it get does it get dodgy. Watch and. Uh... You know, uh, I'm honored to be joined today by Governor Northam and by two great representatives of the Commonwealth, Congressman Laurie and Congressman Scott. Brilliant, Joe. You're doing so well. You're reading your auto cue. You're looking ever so presidential. It's going well. Keep going. And I want to thank, uh, thank you for all that you do to represent these service veterans because they're devoted to you. It's the family members, the caregivers, survivors. Or call Virginia home. I'm especially honored to share the stage with Brittany and Jordan and Nathan and Margaret Catherine. I uh, I love those barrettes in her hair, man. I tell you. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Joe, no, please. <laughs> Joe, you're talking to a nine-year-old girl. Joe, this is wrong. Alert! Alert! Joe Biden, please stop it right now. Go back on auto cue. Right. And look at her. She looks like she's 19 years old, sitting there with her. Like a little lady in a race car. Brittany. You get that? Did you hear what he said? She, she's nine year old, but she looks like a 19 year old sitting there with like a little lady with her, with her legs crossed. Oh my God. This is, this is why the potato is so unsuitable as president. Yes, he may be the most popular history and the most popular president in the history of the United States, perhaps in the universe. But the minute this potato goes off auto cue. Well, his predilections seem to come to the fore. Who can I ask this to any man listening to this? What adult man looks at a little nine year old child and thinks, hey, you look like a 19 year old with those barrettes in your hair and uh, looking so, uh, looking like a little lady with your legs crossed? What man thinks like that? Well, this one does because he just said it, his own words. This is a problem. Biden is not capable of going off script. He's just not. So therefore, whoever is the guy in his ear uh, who's trying to keep him, uh, keep him kind of on, on, on target, on script, has a terrible job. <laughs> they have a really bad job because this guy, this guy is just getting worse. He cannot help it. He cannot help it. Do you remember just a few days ago uh, when the um, the Floyd family came visiting the White House? Do you remember that one? Yes, the Floyd the Floyd family uh, came uh, visiting, and uh, he was talking about the fact that he'd set uh, George Floyd's daughter, I think, on his knee. Yeah, he sat her on her knee and he gave her ice cream and other sweets. I mean, seriously, how creepy is this guy? What on earth has been installed in the White House? Well, the media, of course, won't ask any of these questions. They think it's perfectly natural to look at a nine-year-old and think she looks 19. Uh, that's perfectly natural, according to the media. But then I guess the media is every bit as messed up as this potato in the White House. That's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comment thread below. And I'll speak with you soon.